Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, September 9th, 2015 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I let spirit show me the way. And today we have actually two interesting connections happening um, and they're both involving Mercury in Libra. So the first connection, which is going to dominate like the day, is Mercury squaring Pluto. This is at 13 degrees. We know that to be the Uranus degree, that shift degree, evolution, revolution degree. So Mercury in a square is already, you know, kind of challenging as showing us our resistance. It can bring up resistance to others, what others are saying. Um, and then that 13 degrees definitely throws in that added element of like triggers being poked. So conversations in the earlier part of the day may be kind of interesting. They may trigger you. They may show you where you have work to do. Um, it's interesting because I've been, you know, since Dr. Wayne Dyer passed the other week, I've been going through his stuff, and he has a saying, um, basically, conflict can't exist without, if, if you're not participating in it. So pay attention to that. And by all means, Say what you need to say. If something comes up and there's something that needs to be said, say it. Empower yourself. Shift shift that energy. Do that revolution, evolution by being kind and saying what you need to say for yourself. But also, you know, check out those three gates. Is it kind? Is it true? Is it necessary? You know, Mercury in Libra still likes to bring that harmony. And so there's always the test. Am I bringing harmony for everybody outside or am I finding harmony within? And Finding that balance of what to say, what not to say, it's an interesting thing. I know this is a Sagittarius because I grew up with, you know, foot and mouth disease, which is open mouth and insert foot, basically the beginning part of my life. So, you know, this is where you let spirit guide you, show you the way with your conversations. Tune into your intuition. Should, is this something I should say or is this something I need to work through through myself? Um, so then the second part of the day, in the evening, the moon is going to connect to Mercury. The moon is now in Leo, bringing up that love vibration, the light vibration, the happy, joyful vibration, connecting to Mercury and Libra. It's a sextile. It's an easy connection. So this brings the Libra balance. Here we have the other side. You know, we have Pluto, which is going to stir stuff up, and we have the moon, which is like, I just want to love you. And ultimately... You know, maybe that can be your other guide. Is this from a place of love? Am I loving myself? Am I loving you with these words, even if they're not necessarily the words somebody wants to hear? So maybe love can be your guide through this. I also want to mention that we're moon in Leo. This is the sign before the new moon, um, the sign before the eclipse. So we're building to that energy. And this eclipse energy, we're in eclipse season, so we have two eclipses two times a year, it's always a time of transformation, change. It puts things in motion. And the other part of this is we also have Saturn finishing up in Scorpio, which is also bringing tremendous change. It's making us look at our deepest, darkest parts. Once again, we've gone over it a few times, but we're hearing it for the last time for 30 years of Saturn and Scorpio. So be willing to look at, take it back to yourself. You know, anything that comes back, you will be most empowered by taking it back and looking at yourself. The final thing that's happening, I wanted to mention, stirring up all this stuff as well, we have the sun conjunct Lilith. Lilith has been hanging around with the sun. And so Lilith insists that you be true to yourself. So if something comes blurting out and you're like, oh, that wasn't from a place of love, you've got to trust that it was probably something that's been needing to be said for a while, and it probably came out with the force of the volcano, <laughs> like Lilith would, because it's something that has evolved to such a place. So if that happens, you know, don't be afraid to humble yourself and apologize, but stand up for what you need to say. Honor your Lilith. Honor being true to yourself. That being said, the cards I pulled, moment to moment. <laughs> and I think this is very true of this day. It's going to be shifty. You know, the morning, that tension with Pluto in the afternoon, evening, you know, the moon and Leo. And the moon and Leo is going to be connecting to Venus first thing in the morning tomorrow. So we'll be building to that love vibration that may feel very nice. So moment to moment, it's going to be one of those shifty days of 
change, change in every moment. So honor the shift, honor what you need to do for you, and let go. The final card, let go of what's not serving you. And you may have to do that with your words. This is a time of letting go, shedding in this eclipse season and Saturn and Scorpio, 29 degrees. So that's it for today. Have a beautiful Wednesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.